Kaisu Kairu Kairu What are you doing? I'm studying my verbs. Well, do you have to do that? Yeah, verbs are the most important part of a language. Kabul. Oh, I mean, wait, what? Verbs are the most important part of a language. Yeah, Michelle Thomas said they're the backbone of a language. Michelle Thomas. Michelle Thomas. Kaesu. Kaesu. Kairu. Kairu. Kagiru. Hello, fellow pilgrims, and welcome back to Gengo no Tabi. My name is Wes, and it's been a while since I shared with you what I'm doing to study. I like to do that every once in a while. It might give you fresh direction or just be some food for thought. And just possibly it'll excite some conversation in the comment box about what you guys are doing to study. And uh, we can all help each other out that way, and maybe I'll get some fresh ideas. Uh, recently, I decided to add another pathway of studying to what I was doing. I decided to expand my verb vocabulary. Um, I think that was kind of random, but uh, as I started studying my verbs, I started to think how important are verbs relative to the other parts of a sentence. And it sounds funny to say, you know, verbs are more important than a noun. Uh, but it turns out it is a debated topic and some very um, authoritative people in language study have suggested that verbs are and one of the more important parts of a sentence. Uh, one thing to note in Japanese, as some other language languages, is that verbs don't just tell you what's happening in the sentence, they also pass on a lot of other information, for example, the tense of the sentence. And in Japanese, they mark the end of the sentence. So if you're a new student and somebody's talking very fast, it wouldn't hurt at all if you could catch your verbs and at least know when one sentence is beginning and the next is ending. Okay, so anyhow, I found a great list of verbs at a website I use sometimes to study at called 123 Japanese. It's a very nicely put together little site and has a lot of different places uh, to study within it. You click on verbs here, and here is an extensive list of verbs, and they are conjugated in um, te form, mas form, and dictionary form. Uh, when I first looked at this, I thought I was going to know most of them, but it's an extensive list. And there's a lot of verbs, and I definitely have a lot of verbs to learn still. So, I printed this up so I can carry it around. Here is my three-ring binder, which I have a couple of these for studying Japanese, and I have my list of them here. So, there you have it. I hope that's some help to somebody. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.